the answer is, uh, is, is, in a sense, is short. The real way out of public debt is growth. That's the answer exactly. That's the answer that uh, during my experience in government, uh, Italy produced. GDP grew by 10%, and uh, debt to GDP ratio declined by about nine points. That's what matters. It's the ratio to, to GDP. And the deficit to GDP ratio, of course, declined as well. So the answer there is this. So what does it mean in practice? Well, in practice, it means that we have to raise potential growth. It means that we have to do all these reforms that put uh, people in condition to be more productive and put more people to work. And each country has its own menu. They used to be called structural reforms. Now this is sort of a negative connotate and uh, makes people think that uh, bad things are being done to them. Let's call them uh, reforms period. And in fact, they go from improving, for example, the skills, improving the educational systems. There is a huge variety of levels of education across countries meaning that there is wide room for improvement in some countries with respect to others. And then it's also a matter of reducing barriers to entry, increasing competition. And when I say increasing competition, reducing barriers to entry, I don't, I don't refer only to monopolies in industry and in finance, but also in uh, so-called social barriers. In, uh, in, in, if, if years ago, when most of you so young, you were not, you weren't born, what uh, used to be called the, how do you say, the social elevator, the possibility of people changing their status, improving their status dramatically during their lifetimes, regardless the family of origin, regardless whether the family was well off or not, was serious. It was, it was everywhere. Now, I don't know, I have to say, I don't know about South Korea, but certainly in many, many Western democracies, mm. this social elevator has stopped at ground floor and doesn't go up any longer. Mm. In other words, the ones who are lucky to be born in a well-off family are probably going to be well-off themselves, and the ones who are not lucky are going to stay unlucky all their lives. That has got to be changing if we want to raise potential output, if we want to cope with the fiscal crisis.